remember I came in the shop for the first time. But I got a lot of customers. Uh, I think they're just counting to see how many comes to this. Yeah, it's just like a count. They want. They think this is going to be the biggest. Meeting. That's my opinion. The biggest amount. Step on your foot. Oh, you're good. I'll walk on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. you Sign it? Who is it? Yeah, signed you the end of the I already signed one of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a continuation. Oh, okay. I already signed it. You guys got it? Yes, sir. Okay. And you just turn those triggers and volume will go down.
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you been having to pull anybody out? Mr. Scott. You been having to pull anybody out lately? Karaoke party after the meeting. No. See the ropes? Yeah. After, after. No, the ropes are still there. I need to grab that snatch rope. That's my style all tied back together. Go cable on the way. Georgia. Tied to that tree. Right. Have you been down uh, Dead Dog Road? I should have cleaned that no, brush on the side. Down there since, since you that day. Yeah. Check it out. I'm not finished with it, but it's a lot more trash. But I've been doing a lot of work there, trying to get you know some residents to help clean up. And they're ready. They're ready. It's rough at that time. I have. Oh, I wear gloves. This, I got the grabber, and I I've got a lot of gloves. Thank you. I've uh, got she two things of gloves donated, but I'm never used to wearing gloves, so it's kind of I got to get in the habit. You know? But I uh, pick a lot up with the grabbers. Okay. Got you now. I got you now. Good. You're live on Facebook. You're live on Facebook. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, I meant YouTube. My bad. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we knew Johnny Will. Guess what? Well, then at 7 o'clock, we stand up for the The United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and individual, with liberty and justice for all.
unanimous. And then we had one invoice for the council accounts. We have an invoice for the pump repair that comes to six thousand five hundred eighty dollars. I believe there's another service call on this. Um, if there's not this one, but there's two service calls. There's half the maintenance and then the, the actual pump repair. The pump repairs were initially right at $8,000 of municipal or, or Sixty something, six something thousand of municipal, three thousand for the two levels to be repaired, and then they've got uh, their two service charges fees they won't pay as well for coming and servicing them, and removing on the song, and trying to that way supply. So it's actually the time we get that third bill. Is this the right thing over here? Nope. No, no. <laughs> okay. Get it closer to your mouth. The red part faces your screen. Right, the blue light's not on. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. All right, you've had breakfast. Dollars in the pool break in it. Are you still with us? Is there such a thing? I'll make the Okay, then the next thing we have is 
motion to adjourn. All right, all in favor of approving the minutes? Minutes for the minutes, yes. I'll look here for that, but I'll get the same over there. Okay. The record show we have one abstain from Russell and the rest are passing that. Okay, now we have public participation where the members of the public will have three minutes to speak to council on the topic. Was there anyone who could entertain the box? Oh, member cards, did anybody want to make a comment about anything? About Arda Creek itself? You mean like of the last minutes or? Well, they can make comments about whatever they want, and the um, comments at the end will just pertain to meeting. what we've had in the meeting. So if anybody would like to make a comment about anything. All right, you can start, Jeremy. You got a three minute timer. Adam, watch the sand. All right, I'm watching the sand, my comments in the box. Uh, Madam Mayor, ha Russell told us all that uh, Mary DeGroote's items were the items that were taken from this building as two truckloads left this building. Now, my lawyer tells me that the town's lawyer is stating that there are things that are missing from town hall. So I'm curious, as Russell has stated, that those items were all personal belongings of Mary DeGroote. As you've now been in town hall, have any personal items of Mary DeGroote been found in the town hall building? Yes. Would this be, could you give examples? Is that fair to give food, examples? Food, cat, decor, safe, and various other Items? Okay. Uh, I would like to ask Richard, R Richard, I, I want to stress the gravity of your answer in this, okay? Because there is a lawsuit, it is very real, and what has happened is very illegal in this town. And so Russell has already clearly stated that it's Mary DeGroote's personal items. Mary DeGroote's personal items have still been found in the town. From what we know, two truckloads have actually been taken out of here. Will you share with us, and again, you can share now, you may have to share later in the court of law, what was taken to your knowledge and where was it taken? Mary's personal items, they were just stuff. The only thing I can remember in my head is her radio, AM, FM radio, her dining room table, her little wagon that she always pulled back and forth like, to work. This is a public comment. But what kind of the little things I don't know. It was just stuff. And I see no city items. No paperwork. And can you share where those items were taken? To her back room, whatever it is. At the, it used to be a carport, I suppose. It's closed in, closest to the road. Okay. Thank you, Richard. The only additional comment I would make is Commissioner Don Severino continues to break the law as he interrupts the public. That's and if he continues to do it, he's going to be held liable and accountable for it as well. Okay. I'm done with my public comment. Thank you. Thank you. We have no one here for you. Um, yeah, I'm here because I got a $6,000 work bill. <laughs> I need that shot I would be here too. Oh, another swimming pool, huh? You take a lot of water. Yeah, I'm doing a great job. We didn't, Thank you. We didn't get the timer. So, you brought your phone with me on that? I just have it. Do you mind sharing with us? Are you okay with that? She's got the record. Uh, <laughs> yeah. what, what do you want to? Just, just look at the card, see what, see what the balance is, and why.
this is um, this is what I'm going to do. So this is what you've done is the same amount of uses on that drill as this one was. Exactly. This one previously was maybe one dollar. Exactly. Okay. I'm sure the photo photo is somewhere in that system. Is that for the motors, Jim, by itself being rewound, or just replacement of motors or the pump? The pump, pump housing and everything's got to be totally built on the pump. Um, again, the service calls, this company is very high rate on the service calls. I mean, two of the service calls is what really driving the price up. They're working with us on the price of repairs. Once they want it, they definitely want us to uh, pay the service. Anybody else got a comment? All right, moving right along. So next on the agenda is we're coming back to the one-year term for the council member. I'd like to assign that to uh, Russell Meeks. Okay. As far as you assign it to me, I was on regular rotation. Because you don't come to meetings and charter clearly states you haven't done the things you need to do. You put us in a position where we're in lawsuits and everything else as a mayor. So you've gotten us into a fine mess here. So would you like to explain how you're so on the board when you don't care about this town? I can't love that money. I'm not at all sure that you're legally put on point determining as a council who gets the term. Said it's, un, it's unknown territory, it's new, and I believe she's setting the precedence for, for the future. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Actually, they have a provision for a tie, and it's all it's been a random choice. If there's a tie for two people, you flip a coin, there's a tie for three people, or some other I method, but it has to be random. If it's not random, it's not. 
unfair. That's what they all thought. So. decision for this will be um, will stand with the consequences that we speak with the Attorney General to see what, what their opinion of it can be changed or not. We'll do that in 30 days in the next meeting. Okay, we'll speak to the Attorney General on that matter and see what they have to say. The next thing we have... Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> next we can discuss the website prices. So having a website will cost $32 a month, and that will include a free domain for the first year. Thereafter, it would be about $15 a year to renew the domain. And if you have a website, then we can proceed in the future to do the water bill paying through the website. You can have a calendar. It's interactive. So do we want to proceed forward with doing a website? I make a motion we do. We definitely need to have a website. Have a website. Certainly answer a lot of the issues that's coming up. Could I hear a second from you? I'll make a second. All in favor? Unanimous? Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank The clerk position's been listed. We've been accepting resumes. And I need to know how you guys want to go about selecting from the resumes. Well, I don't think you can rely solely on resumes unless you already have some. Yeah, we need to do interviews. And I need to do also have a form of formal application that covers a, a, a large area. Okay, we're taking the resumes things. and we're right. doing interviews. So how would you like to go forward with doing interviews? Because the board is supposed to be involved in the decision. I cannot solely do that alone. So I need to know because we need a clerk. Because I'm not coming in here for free anymore. Well, Good. I, I think there should be an application that we can, everyone can go read the application. After it's filled up, after more of the way it's coming. Okay, so we're doing resumes and we need to do interviews. How are we going about doing the interviews? Is everybody going to get together for the interviews? I think you should do applications. And then okay, great. Well. We're doing resumes and we're setting up interviews. Okay? Everybody on the board is supposed to select who it is. So that means everybody has to get together. We've been having workshops that nobody showed up at, where we've been able to discuss things concerning everything going on, and nobody shows up. That shows me nobody cares. So I'm in here doing everything with the help of Belinda and with the help of Diana. I'm not getting paid, Belinda's not getting paid. What are we doing here? Because people need to be involved. Well, Otherwise, we can unincorporate and shut the town down. I think you should get paid for what you have been doing. I'll make a motion that we clerk because these, these, this office and paperwork Belinda. is three to four years behind. If there's working there, it's not been touched for years, and we lost our town funding because reports from three years ago weren't turning in. They finally had cut off our funding. We got to be established and done all this work. The, the, the clerk has not done nothing except for idle, idle stuff outside of the, her duties. And it is, it, is, it is obvious as much as there is just stuff aside in there far away. And um, these are things we went through on the workshops and everyone was invited to. And these were all kinds of things that turned up during those workshops and this decision and what to do with them was discussed during that workshop. And um, um, I make a motion that we pay Belinda, Teresa, 
for their time. They've been here working all this time. Now they've been working 30 and 40 hours a week or more. She has not been working her regular job. Teresa's been giving up her paycheck on her job to be here to do it. I make a motion that we pay them for their time. We, we calculated it up and we write, we write them a check for the amount of, 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 of at least of, of, a, of a consistent wage at that level for what they've been doing. And uh, so that when we need them to keep on for a little while longer until we can get this other person in here. The interviews. So Donna Hickman, oh, well, let me stop. That's the motion to pay. Do you get a second to pay them? Well, that's not really on the agenda. Uh, so I, you know, I don't think we should consider that. It is on the agenda discussing for Well, we're talking about applications. It's not a position at Herschel. This is a, a, a intelligent. If position. you saw the 